Does your family know what you want if you're facing a life-threatening accident or disease? What if you aren't able to make that decision or, or to tell them? In Health Watch, Shelly Botan tells us why it's important for people to plan ahead and talk to their families about end-of-life decisions. 90% of Americans say they know they should talk to their loved ones about their wishes for end-of-life care, but only 30% do so. That is why Aurora Baycare Medical Center is holding a free movie screening and discussion on the topic to help people begin the conversation with their families and get it in writing. When someone hits the emergency room with life-threatening injuries or is facing a terminal illness, what if they can't tell their loved ones what their wishes are? Whether they would like to be resuscitated, in other words, would their hearts, would they want their hearts to be started, or would they like us to let them go and die a, a peaceful um, death? It becomes a major challenge for their loved ones because even though the patient may have communicated their wishes in advance verbally, they're not in a legal document. That's where an advanced directive or living will comes in. It's a written legal statement of a person's wishes regarding medical treatment, so they are carried out should the person be unable to communicate. Which basically outlines how would you as a person like to be treated should say your heart stop. It removes the guesswork for the family. Everything that the patient wants is written. Hospitalist Dr. Lanika Sood and lead chaplain Renee Lubinsky work with people during their end of life. They say if you don't have an advanced directive, your wishes might not be carried out. As a hospital doctor, what I very commonly come across is patients who roll in through the emergency room almost dying. Um, they are not awake. They are not able to talk to anybody. Advanced directives are not just for terminal patients. End of life decision making happens at all ages, whether it's a motor vehicle accident, it could be um, a head trauma. Aurora Baycare Medical Center is hosting a free screening of the PBS frontline film Being Mortal. What it really talks about is difficult conversations between healthcare professionals and their patients and families. They talk about end of life care. The film will be followed by a panel discussion. The goal is to help people begin these difficult conversations with their families and their doctors. So set up a time with your family member and tell them um, what your goals are. Free advanced directive paperwork will be available at the event. There are two opportunities to see Being Mortal, a free film screening and discussion on Tuesday night, April 17th, and Wednesday afternoon, April 18th. Both are in the Aurora Baycare Sports Medicine Building. To learn more, you can call Aurora Baycare or email healthwatch at auroraBaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.